Here's what you have to do. Deliver. There's a red-haired boy about your age and hairstyle similar to mine. Surely you'll find him prowling around somewhere in the city. Yo, whoa, what is going on YouTube? It's your boy Dan, aka Drop. For you guys, another episode of our Pokemon Reality System. We are back with another episode. Very excited. If you guys missed the last one, check it out in the description below. Poor little Archon got absolutely shredded in the last one, so we're gonna have to throw down and see what's in store for the Archon and, and everything else. So I think we have to press onward here on this route and uh, hopefully catch some cool stuff. Like the video if you guys have been enjoying the series. I've been having a blast, so hopefully you guys are as well. And let's see what happens. So this says that the gym leader's name is Douglas and he specializes in ice type. So looks like our next gym is gonna be ice type Pokemon and we'll have to see how that's gonna shake down. Looking forward to grabbing another badge. Like got some nice little fairy lights here in Anatasa City. So let's see if this is the Pokemon Center. It is. So I'm gonna poke around the town, see what we can find. And ultimately we're gonna try to take on the next gym, I think. Oh, it's Owen. No way, don't tell me. I've bothered to get here just so that the leader has gone who knows where to train and go and we have to go look for him and wait for him to return to the gym. <laughs> A whole classic, go ahead, tell me if true. Oh no, the gym leader's in his position. Oh. It's a joke, right? Is seriously the leader in this gym? Well, let me pass, right? I come to challenge you, of course. Ah, oh, let's see, the leader is in the gym, but... But at this time, he doesn't want to see anyone. He locks himself in and refuses to fight. Wait, why? It's a long story. The fact is it'll be difficult to convince him to take care of the applicants now. Hey, Drive, how long have you been here? Does not matter. You can catch me in a bad mood. I need to fight to clear my head. Oh, okay. I guess we're battling Owen then. That's a way to start the day. All right, what do you got? You got a Glaceon to lead things off. I've got my boy Globo out here. So Globo, we can fire off a nice uh, incinerate. Right on the glacier. Big damage. Gonna go for a barrier. That's not really an issue. Um, I just fire off another incinerate. He's got a hyper potion, but we'll just incinerate twice and finish off this glacier. So a good start for us to have my boy Globo out here on the at the starting point. All right, what else you got? Well, I want to learn a new move. Oh, we tried to learn this already. I feel like. Oh no, this is Leaf Blade. I think. I'll get rid of. Um, Leaf Tornado, uh, yeah, Tornado. That was Leaf Blade, because it had higher crits. And here comes Saigol. Um, I mean, we just go Florado, right? Every time. Uh, he went for Rain Dance, okay. Uh, but I can go for Giga Drain. Giga Drainado! Big damage, and he'll Hydro Pulse me. Water Pulse, he does get a crit, but I can just Giga Drain again, heal it off, we're good to go. Easy. Now, what else you got for me? A Mantine. I do have an Alleged type, but it's not one that I feel like I could comfortably go into here. Like, Magneto, if he gets hit with a water move, he probably gets wrecked, so... I think the play is you go Paula, put it to sleep, and then switch. So I think that's what we're gonna do. Let's go for Bostezo. I'll, hit a, I'll take a Hydro Pulse. Water Pulse. Now he's gonna be sleeping. And I think the play now... I mean, I wanna just go into Magneto. But I can't switch it in. So I guess we go for... I guess you just go for the confusion. He's gonna headbutt. Oh, I could have switched. And now he falls asleep. I'll just hit him with confusions, I guess, and weaken him down. All right, after a couple confusions and he hit himself once or whatever, we're good to go. And here comes Heliolus. Now that I gotta switch out for. Magneto should be okay against him as long as he doesn't have like Surf. So I'll go for, he's gonna quick attack me. We should be fine. I'll just go for the Rock Slide. And it does a good amount and he's gonna go for Charge. But I don't miss my Rock Slide. So we finished him off. That should be good XP too. 647, it's not bad. And we beat Owen! Ah, I was, what was I missing? Owen, I just beat you every time, bro. And of course, you have to beat me up, always. I imagine you heard the conversation earlier. What can we do? Help, I need help! Who's this guy? Breathe, man, what happened? Someone is stuck in the ice off the lake on Route 11. And not only that, some Pokemon in the area suddenly started attacking her. It's a girl with blue hair. Can the leader come out and help? Of course, I'll let you know right now. We don't have time to drag the leader out of his gym. We have to go help that girl already. Come on, A-Drive, let's go. A-Drive, look there. Wait, that girl. Yes. Wait, what Pokemon is that? Is that Seal? Or Dugongs? It's Alba. I'm telling you, I didn't want to bother you in case you were thinking I'm not tasty at all. Uh, is she the girl in the tournament, Liliana's daughter? Hmm, I can't be the only one who gets the feeling that the Dugong just want to play with her, right? 
But the big question is, what do we do to help her? So whistle, shout, or lure them with food. I think we'll try to lure them with food. So we'll see if the berries work. Hey, Dugong, look what I got. They're berries. What do you want? Oh, there they are. Okay. Wow, maybe with a battle, they'll calm down for once. I guess I'm battling Dugong now. Level 32 Dugong. I got my boy Globo, but... Dugong's actually kind of tricky, I think. I think the play is you just put it to sleep and then switch. Right? I think that's definitely the play. So let's hit him with that Bostezo. He's gonna go for a Water Veil. And then I feel like the chance of an Ice move is pretty slim, so we'll go to Florado here. And I get Aqua Jet, so that's fine. And then now I just start firing off Giga Drains or Leaf Blades. So I'll go for Giga Drain, see how much it does. Maybe I'll go for Leaf Blade. I mean, that did over half, like, even with it healing itself right now. I'll knock him out on the following turn. So we're good. So Dugong goes down. Oh, wait, it lives. And it does a lot. Jeez. Uh, I guess I'll just Giga Drain one more time. He could have had Aqua Jet, but I have enough health that that's really not a huge issue. Come on, Mantine. Doot, doot, doot. I love Mantine's Cry. One of the best. Ah, oh, I almost didn't. Uh, thank you very much. Oh, it's nothing, but can we ask how you ended up in such a situation? There are so many things we want to ask, but what happened to Liliana after the tournament? Oh yes, the answer to both questions is somewhat related, in fact. I'll start by telling you what happened to my mother after she fell asleep, you'll see. I was with her until she woke up a couple hours later. By then, you guys had already left. You, are you okay, Mom? Uh, Jeremiah! I knew I couldn't trust him, it's nothing more than a... Mother, listen to me! Alba, forgive me. I'm perfectly fine. I just took a little nap. Mom, why have you helped those guys to create the system? You don't even need it. You're already very strong. I've heard that they even want to distribute it throughout the Esoteria region when it's finished. Many trainers will force their Pokemon to fight, causing them pain. You can't allow that. It's very cruel. Ah, that's dumb. Are you really worrying about Pokemon? Do not make me laugh. The bonds between humans and Pokemon something that gives them even more power. A power of ours to control. That's the sole purpose of its existence. And you, Alba, I'm very disappointed, you know. But do you know what? When you realize your efforts are in vain and others look down on you because your Pokemon are weaker than others. Don't say mom didn't tell you. Wow, she's definitely not winning Mother of the Year award. I'll do what I want even if it means facing you. Sorry to interrupt, Miss Liliana. You have a visi visitor. Oh boy, it's Garda. Ah, Alba, wait outside, this could be important. After that, left the room. However, I stayed listening to the conversation in the entrance. The person who had come to see my mother was... So you finally showed up, you couldn't let this go, huh? Sarah? Oh. Okay. Stop calling me that. You and I don't share anything anymore. You have changed, Lily. I'm sorry to tell you, but I can't allow you to take continue the course you've taken. So Sarah is the new champion. She's uh, visually impaired. And Liliana was the previous champion. And Sarah's here saying, It's hard for me to remember the Liliana I knew as a child. You always train your Pokemon with a smile. And you strive in clearly to become the best. Your enthusiasm for fighting, your passion for the ancient legends of Esoteria. I know you still have them, and you've had them in black. I ask of you, as a friend and a trainer, that you stop using the Reality Day as system as such a selfish way. Easy for you to say. You weren't the one that got pushed aside when it got stuck. You went ahead and even Celebi recognized you as her trainer. Meanwhile, I increasingly felt that my efforts were more in vain, but then I started seeing my Pokemon differently. And now, only then, I got over you. All so that you could later come at me in the Pokemon League to ruin everything again. That was never my intention, Lily. I know that in the background, you know it. The way you started treating Pokemon was intolerable. You were the champion. Many people would have tried to imitate you. But more than anything, she was worried about you. If you want to walk that path again, I'll be there again to stop you. Good for me, then we can settle this matter once and for all. The ancient deities will be a joke by my side. No, in fact, I will find them and end their existence at last. It's okay, Celebi, we already have the answer. Sometimes I wonder who the blind one here is, Liliana. Aw, oh, snap. That was what I heard. Later, I ran into Sarah when she was leaving the room. And she told me that if someone could make her see reason, it was me. I've been thinking about it for a long time, and I came to the conclusion that in order to achieve that, I must get over my mother. 
I decided to start training hard to go to this area. However, I wanted to face some Pokemon in the lake and without realizing it, the ice broke and you know the rest. I understand, it must have been tough. The important thing is that now you're fine and there's something that you have said that worries me. Hey Drive, doesn't what Liliana said contradict what Teresa told you? You mean Jeremiah's sister? What has she told you? She told us that they are using the reality data system to prove, essentially, that, uh, you know, trainers and the bonds with their Pokemon are the most effective thing. So both of you plan to use the system differently, but that can't be. Aren't there supposed to be allies? Precisely. Teresa appears to have good intentions in the long run, but Liliana seems determined to use it to control Pokemon indefinitely. Uh, that means one of the two has lied about the system really being used. It was probably Teresa to stop us from investigating Metis Corp. We shouldn't have trusted her. There has to be some way to find out the truth. What if we ask Jeremiah directly? We already tried to get information from him once and it was a failure. The only thing that occurs to me is their headquarters to verify the truth. Teresa said to go to Ciudad Agata, to the auditorium specifically. But I don't know what to think and you still haven't been able to contact Simon, have you, A-Drive? We should try to talk to him as soon as possible after getting the gym badge from this. But in the meantime, I for now want to focus on training. I need to gain the trust of my Pokemon to overcome my mother and to come to her senses. Well, you know what? I also need some training. Not because there are problems to challenge the gym leader and he has nothing to do or anything like that. We can train together if you want. Would you do that? Thank you. I saw your fight in the tournament. You were very strong. I'd be glad. Well decided, A-Drive. Let me know if you get the leader of the face contenders again. Alba and I will be training on Route 11. If you need anything, we'll be there. All right, so we gotta go see if the gym leader is actually interested in battling in the first place. Uh, I got our little alien friend here. I've already been here though, I think. Yeah, this is the route. Oh, there's Alba and they're training here on Route 11. Oh my God, who, who's that spinning person? So this is the route south, but it's all the same Pokemon. Like none of these Pokemon have been any different. So I'm gonna head back into the town. I think this is the way to the town. I'm gonna look around the town, see if there's anything that I might've missed and then get ready for the gym, I guess. Oh, I got a picture from my album just now. I think I got this one. Grace. I don't know. So this guy just gave me carbon, but I feel like it's something else. Yeah, it's charcoal. So charcoal is actually really cool. I can give that to Globo, I guess, if I wanted to, to boost the power of his fire moves. I think that's actually worth it. So I'll take the uh, leftovers from him and then I'm gonna give the leftovers to Paula probably because we have the ice type gym coming up. What is this? Is this a Landorus? Why is there a little Landorus? In the tr I'm so confused what's even happening there. This is the famous rocket manufacturing company. What are you looking at? I don't, I don't know. I'm trying to figure out what's going on here. This is like a Christmas team rocket place. What is even, it's, it's Christmas here. If you want to buy something, don't hesitate to talk to the red haired lady at the counter. So you can buy different plushies. Yeah, I, I don't really think any of these are that useful to me right now, to be honest. Cool little area though. All right, so I guess I'm heading into the ice type gym, maybe. It's you, the gym leader is still locked up and doesn't want to see anybody. Uh, maybe not. Uh, let's see, but... I think I have an idea to make him come out. The reason he locks himself is away is because he hates the Christmas holiday. It's believed that in the gym he'll be safe from it, but what if he finds out that we plan to decorate everything from top to bottom? Uh, then I'll have to do something. I'm sure we can decorate it with some things that are scattered throughout the gym. You'll have to go and find them yourself. Be careful with the ice and the other trainers. Okay, I dig it. That's kind of cool. Um, cool little gym gimmick. Uh, so I'll ask you guys a question today. What's your favorite ice type Pokemon? You guys could let me know in the comment section below about what ice type Pokemon you like the most. For me, I, really, I quite like Mamoswine actually. It's a Pokemon that I've I've grown to like a good amount. Um, how am I, like I feel like Wolverine is actually a problem for me. Um, like Aurora Beam is fine. I mean, I can obviously go for Fake Out and then I can go for, you know, a Snarl or something here. I do feel like, I do feel like Wolverine's a problem though. Like I'll take that just fine. I think that was Ice Ball. So I'll go for Bite and flinch him. And then I'll go for a Snarl and, and get close to knocking him out. And he just body slams me. We'll just knock him out. Um, I decided not to change my team. And the reason being, very simply put, like yeah, Ice and, ice and Water is kind of tough. Um, very simply put is just, my team does not really have, um, or my PC doesn't really have a lot going on, right? Like in terms of Pokemon that are gonna be able to deal with these Pokemon and I gotta level them up so much. That's really what it comes down to is like, 
my PC is very underleveled compared to the, the Pokemon that I would use. So let's leave Blade here. See how much. Oh, he ice sharded me. Yikes. And my Leaf Blade almost crits. Um, let's go into. I'll go to Globo. And he actually went for rest. Oof. All right. Let's see how much Shadow Ball does. Uh, is he Sleep Talk? I think he was Sleep Talk. All right, I beat the new guy. We'll get our first prize. A lot of XP for everybody. Let's see here. We got our first decoration. Oh, we put Christmas lights up. <laughs> That's sick, dude. Oh, I had an egg. I forgot all about the egg, guys. We had this egg. And it's an Alolan Vulpix. That's actually sick, dude. So we have regular Vulpix and Alolan Vulpix. I'll name you Emma Frost. I forgot all about the fact that we had an Alolan Vulpix. Like an egg, I mean. I didn't know it was going to be a little in Vulpix, but I forgot that we had an egg. Which is kind of bad that I forgot, but that's okay. Uh, let's see what this guy's got. More ice types, of course. Alright, he's going to lead a lot with a Vanillish. This is good for me. I will just click... Uh... Bro, I need to legitimately hit my Rock Slides. I missed two in a row. Two Rock Slides in a row. Look how much we do when we actually hit them, though. It's a one-shot. Everything. Everything gets one-shot. Do I dare stay in against Glaceon? I don't think I do. I think I go Globo. Oh, he had Bite? Ah, oh, that's kind of annoying. Okay. Uh, Pyrotensia? Technia? Nice damage. I have some good pieces, though, on my team that I think can allow us to beat a nice type gym, but I do worry that maybe I should take the time to grind up some of the PC, but we got some more decoration. We got a nice big carpet laid out. Very nice. And this is our last present. To lay out all the presents everywhere, and that should hopefully get him out of his, uh, you know, his little, his little cave. Make him come out and want to celebrate Christmas with us. And the music is like super Christmassy too, which is amazing. Oh, you're done. Perfect. Uh, there's only one thing. The leader. How beautiful the gym has been done with all these colorful lights. It gives a wonderful Christmas touch. There's even gifts. And if we invite the people of the city... Oh, the leader's locked up and doesn't want to leave. It's time to take advantage. Am I sending the invitations? <laughs> ah, and by the time we can organize a great feast for everybody, let's use the combat platform as a table. We're going to hurry to repair everything before the leader cuts the roll on us. What are you? Hey, there's the gym leader, Douglas. What? Why? The colors, they're too happy. I hate it. Leave everything as it was. And of course, but only if you attend this applicant to this gym applicant first. Uh, it's all right. What horror did you have to put so many lights? The gifts, do they even have anything inside or are they? <sighs> Who cares? All right, it's time to throw down and he has a cloister. Douglas says he hates these dates. Do you expect me to say more? I'm not humorous. To the battle now. All right, let's see what Douglas has. He's got a cloister, we know that. The gym leader, Douglas. He's going to lead off with a Paula Swine. I have to get out of here. Um, probably going to go for a ground move. But I think I'm going to go Paula. Just don't go for Stealth Rock. Okay, we took that pretty well. That was like Bulldoze. I think I'll just put him to sleep. He goes for Ice Fang. I'll put him to sleep. And then I think I want to just go for Water Pulse, to be honest. Just get some damage off on him. That's good damage, and then he falls asleep, so we're actually chilling. I can just Hydro Pulse again, or Water Pulse again, and get rid of him. Okay, so that's one down. What else you got? A Frost Lass. All right. Um, what's my play here? I could go Cha-Ching, if I felt like that was good, and then start Snarling. That feels okay. It has Draining Kiss. Go figure. All right, I can take one. I'll just go for Snarl. I'm faster, which is so good. This thing is so fast. And it goes for Thunderbolts? I don't know, but this is going really well because I get like free Snarls off here. And he's just burning his Super Potions. Let's get it, dude. Use all of them, please. Sweet. All right, Frost last down. Cloister. Okay, I think I go for Snarl and hope it's special. Big damage. Toxic Spike. That's a problem. I'm just going to continue to Snarl until he shows me something. I don't know what that is, but he has a berry and he did a lot to me. I think I just stay in and go for another snarl. Razor shell. Oh my god, I lived it. But does he have... What are the chances this dude has ice shard? 
Um, actually so scary. I kind of want to go Ferrado and just like heal off of him. I just feel like Ice Shard could very much so happen, but I also don't want to take an Ice move right now into Florado. Nor do I want to go into Paula either. Like, maybe I go Wingman. Do I go Wingman? Ah, uh, that's tough. I don't know what he's going to go for. Like, obviously I could stay in, but if he has Ice Shard, I lose to Ching, and I don't want to lose to Ching. But I think I have to just go for it. Oh, yes, my risk pays off. Okay. Good stuff. What is this move? Zen Headbutt. Zen Headbutt he wants to learn. Um, I mean, I don't think I'm going to give him Zen Headbutt. And it's a Weavile last. Okay. Um, well, I have to switch. What's my Weavile answer? Oh, I don't have one. Um, <laughs> it's just like, what? Um, so you presume that he goes for an ice move here. I feel like I just lose a Pokemon right now. It's just a matter of like, what do I lose? The key here is I need to get Magneto in for free, right? Like if I can get Magneto in, then we're okay. But to get Magneto in for free here, I have to basically sack something. Cause to Ching die, he could have Pursuit too. Globo dies to a dark move. Paula dies to a dark move. Florado dies to an ice move. Wingman dies to an ice move. Uh, what is, I think I go Wingman, as sad as that is. Yeah, he just ice punches me to the face. Okay, well, I'm I'm gone. Um, I mean, I could go Globo, but then I'm in the same situation where I just get hit by, uh, I just get hit. What, what is my speed? 70 versus 94? Yeah, dude. I think I gotta just sack off Wingman here. I'll go for the Chupa Vides. Get a little health. Maybe I crit him or he, he chokes. Nah, he just ice punches. And Wingman goes down! No! Dude, our team has been so good. For that to be, I think that's our first loss. Don't miss a rock slide, please. Ice punch. Don't miss a rock slide, you got this Magneto. He hits it! Oh my gosh, Magneto with the clutches rock slide, thank you for not missing. And we beat the Weavile. Oh my goodness. Defeated, it's the environment. It's, it's definitely the Christmas decorations. I lost and you are strong. For a moment I was able to forgive what day it was and focus on combat, thank you. Here, have your fourth badge. I'll take my fourth badge. I thought it was gonna be a Christmas present. And an extra, the TM for Frosty Mist. I don't know what that is, Frosty Mist? Icy Wind maybe? The litter is Ciara for the next gym. I think it's probably Icy Wind. Oh uh, no, it says attack with cold air. It results in a critical hit. So maybe it's, um, I forget what the move is, but it always gives a critical hit. And a very unfortunate goodbye to Wingman. Oh, it's Owen. Come on, A-Drive. Don't tell me you managed to fight Douglas. Alba's been training a little more. She's trying very hard. And I'd better hurry up. So let's go to the gym leader changes before he changes his mind. Oh, it's Simon. I'm sorry I couldn't contact you earlier. I've been occupied. Something new? Simon, we have a lot to tell you. He won't believe it. Look. So we don't know if Metascore really plans to use the system as per Teresa told you or use Pokemon like Li Liliana said? And the only way to get rid of the doubt is by going to the headquarters, which is apparently in Ciudad Agata and checking who really has the truth. Good, I think the time has come for me to come out of my hole. Can I count on you to meet us at the Metro of Ciudad Agata? They've already fixed the trains and they're completely functional. In fact, weren't your parents wearing them? And answer the question, I'll head there as soon as I beat Douglas. You be careful, Professor. Metis Court may still be after you. I'm not that easy to catch. By the way, A-Drive, I have a system upgrade for you. Now I got access to Surf! Surf allows you to navigate the water with the help of a Pokemon, which the system establishes as bond temporarily. Use it well. That is all. See you in Agatha City. Good, I hope we solve this once and for all. Now I'm gonna go face the leader and you do not neglect your training, A-Drive. 
And we got more favors unlocked here in the town. So let's head back to the Pokemon Center to start. I gotta find a new member of our team, very sadly, and say goodbye to our friend Wingman. And then we'll take a look at what the favors are. Goodbye, Wingman. We love you, buddy. I think for now I'll take Scyther. Ah, what should I do? Oh, you don't seem very busy. Could you help me with a favor? There's a gift I'd like to give, but I can't leave my job and the other employees have a lot to do. I'll make it up to you. Cool, thanks. Here's what you have to do, deliver. There's a red-haired boy about your age and hairstyle similar to mine. Surely you'll find him prowling around somewhere in the city. Okay, so we got the gift. And Looker's here, so we're gonna go talk to Looker, but I remember finding the red hair person. I wanna say it was down somewhere over here. Oh, there they are. Hello? Oh. Ah, uh, why have you decided to come here? It does not make any sense. What will you hope to get? What are you looking at? Wait, you can't just run away. I have a gift to give you. I should have thought this better. What am I doing here now? I should at least go in and ask for explanation, but then she would recognize me and... Again, you mind your own business. I feel like I'm gonna have to battle this person. I've been so stupid. And what's wrong with you? Maybe my Pokemon will make you unfollow me altogether. All right. Oh, it's silver! I had a feeling it was silver, dude. I'm not gonna lie. And he is a Gengar? Um, okay. Do I go Cha-Ching? I think I go Cha-Ching here. My dude just busts out a Gengar like no problemo. Oh, my ability doesn't work when I'm weakened. Okay, he's gonna go for Confuse Ray, but I just did a ton to him and dropped his special attack. So, I feel like... I think I'm just gonna stay in, actually. And just go for Bite. He's gonna Hyper Potion, okay. I hit myself in Confusion, of course, because why wouldn't I? Um, I'll Snarl. I don't know what that move was. But it's okay, I get another bit of damage off on him. Oh, was, I think it was Sucker Punch, actually. And I get to go for Bite. Okay, so I beat the Gengar. All right, what else you got? A Crobat, jeez. Okay, Magneto's actually good against Crobat, though. He goes for whatever that was, it's fine. And I can go for uh, Thunder Punch. And he goes for, again, whatever that is. And I missed the Thunder Punch, because why wouldn't I? Confuse Ray, don't miss. Magneto, dog. I need you right now, and you're letting me down. You're actually letting me down right now? Uh, I'm gonna use a Moo Moo Milk, heal all the way up, and then Thunder Punch again. And he goes for Swift. Like, we are like the perfect Crobat counter, but like... Air Cutter again, I'm confused. I get the Thunder Punch off. All right, Crobat's gone. Whew, and a Sneasel, my favorite. Um, I actually feel like my play is just Avalanche. I don't know what that move is. I hit the I hit the rock slide and I knock out the Sneasel. Okay. And a Feraligator dog, what? All right, I'm gonna go Paula. And he goes for Ice Fang. And I can go for Bostezo. Scary face, okay. I'll put him to sleep here. And then I, I don't think he's gonna Ice Fang again. So I think my play is definitely going to Florado here. And we should be pretty safe. Oh, he, he Ice Fangs again. And right after I said he's not gonna Ice Fang again, what does he do? Ice Fangs again. Well, he's sleeping this time. I can actually Giga Drain now. Get a lot of damage off. And I'm faster, so I can just knock him out on the following turn. So Silver, Silver does some things. He had, that was legit. That was, that was a legit fight right there. Okay. Huh, you're strong, I admit it. I will listen to you, what do you want? Oh, a gift from my mother. I mean, from Athena. It's a scarf? Is she blind? I'm already wearing a scarf. I don't need another scarf. This one's softer. All right, tell him that I have accepted his blessed gift. He says, don't send a stalker to give it to me. And I say, said the one who spied through other people's windows. If you want to fight, you'll have it. As soon as I heal my Pokemon again, of course. So is that just it? You remind me of my rival. Uh, ugh, guy I used to run into Johto from time to time. That's cute. So they added like a little uh, storyline with Silver. That's actually kind of sick, dude. I love, I love just the writing in this game so far. I feel like it's been so top tier. You already delivered it. Thank you. Here, this is for your inconvenience. I hope you find it useful. 
And I got the Expert Ribbon, which I think is Expert Belt. Yeah, it is Expert Belt. So super effective hits uh, deal more damage, which is pretty good. And here's Looker. He says, I have been discovered. Have you been able to recognize the international police with just a look? My name is Looker. That's my code name. That's what they call me. Listen, I need to give you something. Don't you think this building is kind of suspicious? I'm sure they're hiding something here. And what's more, I think they have a direct connection with the team. By the way, my translator's broken, so I'm using my fan phone. I, I don't know what's going on. I need to go incognito to s investigate and inform the surroundings. Would you be that somebody? So yes, I will do it. Cool, take this. And he's gonna give me a Trahe Navideno, which might be a trench coat, Christmas suit. Oh! Let me know when you're done investigating, I'll be here. Okay, so I think I can dress up and I don't know how to change, but I think I can dress up. Oh, there we go. Now I'm all dressed up. So now I can actually get through here. Oh, go ahead. You don't seem suspicious at all. And now we're inside this rocket hideout and we can do the research for Looker. But I'm gonna save this for the next episode. Partially because my translator has been bugging out this whole episode and also to leave you guys on a cliffhanger. So like the video if you enjoyed it and subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. We'll see what's up with Looker and everything in between on Pokemon Reality Day System. I'll see you guys next time. Peace. <laughs>